Hitachi Virtual Storage Software Block, or VSS Block, is a hypervisor-based software-defined storage solution that delivers Hitachi's legendary enterprise reliability for your distributed applications, integrates with your existing storage portfolio, and simplifies management and automation. VSS Block runs on general-purpose servers or commodity servers, and the software runs as a virtual machine on the underlying hypervisor. Because the hypervisor interacts directly with the hardware layer, VSS Block is more flexible and mostly independent of the underlying hardware. Currently, Hitachi Advanced Servers HA810 and HA820 are supported. Because of this architecture, VSS Block automatically adapts to hardware changes, supports technological advancements, and meets growing demand. In addition, this storage solution has a relatively low cost, is highly available and scalable, and supports both fiber channel and iSCSI protocols. VSS Block requires a minimum of three nodes with a mirroring configuration. It supports a minimum node count of five nodes with four data plus one parity configuration, or six nodes with four data plus two parity configuration and supports up to a maximum of 32 nodes in all configurations. VSS Block takes advantage of Hitachi Polyphase Erasure Coding, which is a Hitachi patented technology for cluster data reliability and fault tolerance like conventional hardware RAID technology. As a result, you can reduce the cost of your hardware resource investment while improving performance with high-speed read processing without compromising the quality of data reliability and fault tolerance. Setting up VSS block consists of four high-level steps. Before you begin, you need three general-purpose servers that are connected to a network management switch. Step 1. Connecting the network management switch to VSS block. First, we connect the VSS block nodes to the network management switch by using either the 1 GB or 10 GB Ethernet connection that is marked as Storage Management Network. Using this network, you can access the storage user interface. Step 2. Connecting the Internode Network, or Backend, switch. Next, we connect the VSS block nodes to each other with a 10 GB or 25 GB Ethernet network using one or more switches. This connection works as the backbone channel for transferring data during node-to-node -node data transfer. Node-to-node -node data replication. Parity rebuilds. And data access. Step 3. Connecting the compute network or front-end switch. Now we connect each VSS block node using the Ethernet or fiber channel ports to two Ethernet or fiber channel switches with switch ports that are used as storage interface ports for the client. Step 4. Connecting Compute OS Nodes Lastly, client machines are connected to the compute switches for accessing the storage volumes. For more information about what virtual storage software block can do for your business, visit hitachibantara.com.